It's March 15th. We're gonna learn how to make some burgers. Got our heat coming on. We got some hamburger meat. We got a little cheese. We got some pickles. We got some sauce that I made and we'll do a video on that one day. And I just bought some buns today. We'll probably do a video on making some buns. Um, my oven's on the fritz, so I might make buns in the crock pot. That'll be fun. First off, there's a thousand ways to make burgers. This is like regular lean, lean ground beef. You just take it out and you just grab it and whatever. Um, now, uh, you can put oats in it and, and eggs and spices and all that stuff. You can leave it just like this. Or you can add some bacon to it, which I think I'll do on a different video. Uh, I'm going to incorporate some bacon into it. But this time, we're just going to make some loose loose balls like that. Just, just how it comes out of the package with its little stringies. That's all you want right there. And if it's got little gaps in it, that's even better, you know, don't squish them too much. You can squish them a little if you, if you want to, but not too much. Um, how many are we making? That's probably good for now. Pack this up, put it in the freezer, whatever. Maybe you make some tomorrow. You don't have to put it in the freezer then. Mm, get your hotness going over here. Now what you're going to have to do maybe get yourself something to push with. Here we go. Woo -boo! All right, and he's gonna be hot enough. We might have gotta make sure that's hot enough and we gotta make sure it's got a little bit of oil in it. Here's a little bit of oil. Not very much, doesn't need much. Uh, some people, when they make these a lot, they keep their oil from the last ones and then the flavor from the meat just keeps on recycling through and it's just delicious. Back in the 1920s when they invented hamburgers, this was kind of how they did it, but they would be outside and they would have a big huge thing that they'd have all these burgers going on and it would end up having thick, thick, thick amount of uh, oil all along the bottom from all the burgers they made. And that would get uh, used year after year. So a lot of those carts would catch on fire. So you have to be really careful what you're doing. We're not doing that. We're doing them single every time. Now, they get stuck like that. I should have put a little water or oil maybe on the back of that. You just want to squish it just like that. Oops. If it comes out, that's okay. Whatever. That's fine. Let it go. Heat it up a bit more. And put these in. And I'll let you look at them. Maybe we'll just do two at a time here. <clears throat> look at that. All right. Let's see. Now there's kind of spaces, it's kind of whatever. That's what you want, that'll be delicious. I don't think my pan was quite hot enough, so just something to think about. It'll be okay. It'll turn out all right anyway. Oops, where's my little balance point there? All right, we're good, yeah. Okay, we're gonna need some cheese. My knife is clean. Remember this, try and keep your uh, things separate, separate so you don't cross contaminate. My uh, little balls are fine up there. Chop up some cheese. There's a billion ways to chop cheese. You can even get a special cheese cutter, a little wire, and they're great. But I don't have one right now. I can make one, of course. So take a guitar string and string it up with some wire, and boom, you got a cheese cutter. But anyway, looks like lots of cheese for right now. I like get my buns a little toasty. So let's get another pan, get that warmed up, and get some buns going. I only got these tiny little buns, so I think I'm actually going to do four burgers. Cut our buns. There we go. Those toasting. Whoops. Okay. Get my 
on that? No, probably not. That's okay. Okay, so we'll leave that going there. Boom, boom. Uh, that we need need there. Make sure that's not sticking. Uh, I like to get some pickles. There's some pickles. Put some of those on there, I think, too. What else do they have on a Big Mac, say? Let's put, so that's just kind of like Big Mac sauce, so let's put pickles, onions, right? Okay, this is, if you're going to put onions raw on a burger, you have to get this kind because they're not uh, spicy onions. They're very, very, very mild. You can eat them like an onion. Take a slice just like that, the slice thinnest little slices you can get you know it's so yummy like that I cut the whole thing and then uh, I just take the outer ring off usually boom throw it away feed it to the chickens whatever you want to do sometimes I do that and then I have enough now is that four burgers worth that's four burgers worth totally okay that's good these guys can use a flip for sure boom boom this is where you say, oh, cheese time. And you just throw it on there. If it melts onto the pan, that's even better. Really. There. Let's do this too. Just for fun stuff, okay? See that? And I'll move our flipper. And I'm just going to cover that just to let the cheese melt a bit. But you uh, you really don't have to. The, the heat from the, from the burgers, because uh, they were just flipped will melt the cheese. Yes, a lot of restaurants have, uh, actually the Big Mac, I think, uh, the cheese is put on the lettuce and then the burger's put right up on, on top of it and that's what melts the cheese. That's kind of neat. Uh, let's check on these buns. Oh, they're, they're getting, uh, yeah, they're, they're warming up. We wanna make sure they get a little, 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 little bit of brown, like little tan color. We don't want them to burn and we don't want them to just be dried out. We want them to actually get some flavor from that. Uh, you can put butter in the pan. That helps a lot. Uh, butter always is a good thing. Onions, you can you can cook the onions and put your burgers in there with them. Oh, it's delicious. So yeah, this, these onions are Walla Walla sweet onions. They're really, 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 really sweet. They're Walla Walla. Don't forget that name. They grow them in uh, a clay soil. And, well, they're, they're bred to be sweet, but they're... Um, if you grow an onion in a sandy soil, they get hot and spicy. If you grow an onion in clay soil, they get sweet and yummy. So it, people grow them for different reasons. And uh, these ones are grown in clay soil and they're very sweet. Exactly what you want. Those are overdone. Woohoo! Not really, but that's okay. Plate here. Oh, there we go. That's all right. That's pretty good. Get that going. Oh, lettuce. Is there lettuce? Boom, lettuce. This lettuce for you. I always guide the uh, knife with this finger so I know where I'm chopping. I don't cut my finger. If you need help, there's always someone around to help you. I'll put these ones in now. Boom. A little sauce. Bloop. Bloop. Um, no, don't throw some onions on there, why not? Get these guys scoop all that roasted cheese off there. Uh, the original 1920s recipe did not have cheese in it. That was, whoops, flipped that guy upside down, didn't I? That was later, someone said, hey, why aren't you putting cheese on these things? All right, there's a couple more to go in here. Whoops. There we go. Get that to push down a bit better. enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we can weigh those burgers too. We haven't weighed any uh, 
meat or anything like that. We can take a scale out and measure like two ounces of meat. Make sure it's all the same. I mean, you would if you were in a, if you were cooking in a restaurant. That's what you would do. Some lettuce. Let's just throw that on there. Let's get some sauce in the lettuce. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah. No. Buns. These buns went faster, you see, because it's heated up. That's about what you want. A little bit dark on there. A little, little, little bit. Just toast that. Oh, these ones are perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Turn the burners off when you're done with them. Little sauce on there. Little onions. Onions. And then, oh, you're going to do burger first, right? Okay. Flip that over. Flip this bugger. There we go. Now, what you want, what you want to do when, you, when you're cooking it, you see those little dark pieces on there? They're like, dark, like, you know, crisping up on the pan and they're caramelized beef. That's what you want. Some of that caramelization going on on there. That's that's 100% flavor right there. So we get this cheese. Throw some cheese on there. Oh, whatever. Here, we didn't get enough cut, so we'll cut a bit more. Uh, way too much. Perfect. Way too much is perfect. And then we eat some. Um, um. Uh huh. Turn this burner off now because there's there's plenty of heat in there. Um, start cleaning up now because your burgers are finishing. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Find your garbage. Put things away. When it's time. Well, that looks good. Well, a little bit more. I want that cheese melted. It's not quite melted. Some buns. Put these buns away in the cupboard. These are potato. Potato buns. They're super good. The beef I will pack into Ziplocs or something later. For right now, I'm just gonna pack it down like that. Put it in the fridge. That cheese should be melted now. Let's have a look. Ah, good enough. All right, throw that on there. Woohoo! That. Delicious. Oh, I didn't put pickles on the other one. Jeez Louise. This is going to be a sloppy burger. It's over. There, McDonald's gives you one pickle. These tiny burgers, these little slider guys, only need maybe, maybe three. Now we'll put four on. There you go. Four bur four on there. I'm gonna need a few on here too, dummy. <laughs> okay. Okay, good enough. Excellent. Look at that. McDonald's fake McDonald's sliders. Delicious. Should we try one? Should we try it and see how it is? Where is my face? There it is. Okay. Ready? Let's see how this is. Does it taste any good at all? Well, it's going to be... Look at that, okay? Real, real, real cheddar cheese. 
Oh my. Oh, oh. That reminds me of McDonald's, but better. The flavor is better. The meat is so juicy. Mmm. That's incredible. Okay, I think it's time to go eat my lunch. <laughs> we will make another video shortly. I think I'll do that sauce. It's really super easy. You'll be able to do it. It's basically uh, mayo, mustard, ketchup, a couple kinds of relish, and uh, a few spices. It's really super easy. We'll do it next time, maybe. And we'll do hash browns for sure. All right. Love you guys. Have a good day.